What is up guys, Zam from Zam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop any trap run in Madden 21. But before we get into the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zam Madden YouTube channel. If you guys would like to take your game to the next level in Madden 21, check out my strategy site, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we take a look at the meta of the most effective tactics available being used by pro players in the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. So head over to gridirongameplans.gg, $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website and you can opt out at any time. Today's video is actually going to be coming from our vault and from my nickel 245 defensive game plan on gridirongameplans.gg. So this is a tip that the customers of the website, the members of the website have known for quite a while. And with it being towards the tail end of the Madden year, I'm trying to show you guys a few of the tips that uh, players that have been over on Gridiron have known all year long. So we're gonna go ahead and run the nickel 245 defense. This is my favorite defense in the entire game. And if you guys want to run this defense, but also save the nickel 335 wide, you guys can take a look at it at this out of the Broncos, Dolphins, Giants, Packers, Rams, Ravens, and Titans playbooks. So there's a bunch of defensive playbooks that have nickel 335 wide and the nickel 245. So this should be really, really easy if you guys are struggling with the 01 trap. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna choose any play in the nickel 245. I personally love to run quarters and palms and cover three cloud show two, and there's a bunch of defenses that I like to call, but you can really do this out of any defense. So I'm gonna do this out of uh, cover one robber, for instance. And what you're gonna do with this particular play is you're going to pinch your defense. That's just gonna be right bumper on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation and the left stick down. Then from there, you're going to crash your line up. So that's gonna be left on the D-pad and then up on the right analog stick. And then you're going to take a safety of your choosing. It could be either safety and you're going to move them down into the box, stacking them in the middle of these two middle linebackers about a yard behind. Last but not least, we're going to blitz our safety. So he's gonna shoot straight through the gap. Now with the trap runs in this game, if it's a traditional 01 trap, which is the majority of trap runs in the game, you're just gonna run straight through the center's face and you're gonna be able to come in untouched for a tackle and a loss. So you see how that works right there. Very, very simple, very, very easy to reproduce. Right bumper, left analog stick down to pinch your defense, left D pad right up on, on, the, uh, up on the right analog stick to spread your defensive line or crash them out rather not spread them. And then you're going to blitz your user and stand right in between the middle linebackers. When the ball is snapped, you run straight in, get your hit stick in the backfield. So this is obviously against the 01 trap out of the A slot offset. I can show you just that this is a very reproducible result. Very, very simple. Doesn't matter which side your, your guy is blitzing to. Ball snapped, you run straight through the middle, get your hit stick in the backfield. It is that simple. Let's go ahead and take this exact same approach into um, a different 01 trap. Uh, so if I go into play types, go to runs, uh, go, actually I could go into concepts, runs, and you go down to trap. Uh, let's find a 11 personnel or one running back and one tight end trap. So here's gun doubles. And again, you could do this out of any play in the nickel 245. This time, let's go ahead and call, uh, let's go ahead and call maybe cover three cloud. So this would be a defense in which you probably would want to go ahead and do this with the center fielder. Um, so, you know, you're responsible for the deep middle of the field if it's a pass. You're gonna go ahead and bring him down, stand him in between the middle linebackers, crash your line up. And when that ball snapped, you're running straight through and you're gonna get your tackle for a loss. Now, if you guys like to use your one player um, and you have deflator or enforcer, this is a great candidate for this particular play because obviously, um, you know, if you've got really good tackling abilities, this is something that you can, uh, you know, get yourself a, an occasional tackle for loss, fumble, turnover that can change a game. Um, now, if I were running like the cover three cloud here, I probably would uh, get my outside DB in an outside third because if I were to run it, say like this, it's a really long way for me to get over to the, the top to the right. So 
you might want to replace him and then maybe go ahead and put your a linebacker into the flat and then that way if it's a pass you can cover the right hook um that would make this a little bit more flexible for you but again you're going to see here that when you do it this way um you're going to be able to come in no matter what pretty much untouched now if you wanted to i've experimented with this a little bit it's a little bit more inconsistent but you could also do this with linebackers sometimes kind of stand back in that same spot kind of fly in through the same gap but you'll notice that when you have one less body in the box that the, the offensive linemen sometimes try to target your user and you'll notice that sometimes you'll get chips so if you take a look right here number 71 almost got to us on this play uh, but fortunately we were able to squeak inside and get that tackle for loss so i like to use it with the opposite middle linebacker from the running back uh, here's an example with the, the running back side linebacker uh, on the same tactic you see that you can try to come in but obviously you kind of if you miss um you know they could go off to the right pretty easily on you so it's always easier to come from the opposite side of the running back so uh you know you see right here that with this you can kind of get into the backfield pretty pretty simple um now i want to go ahead and transition here into a different style of trap um all these examples of traps that i've shown you have been from the shotgun um but I wanna go ahead and show you some different trap calls. Um, I'm not sure if they have an under center trap. In fact, they don't in the Patriots offense, but they do have a number of wide traps, also known as five, six traps. Um, these are really, really solid runs. Um, the main times you'll face the wide trap, also known as the five, six trap, are when you're facing the spread offense. Um, the spread offense has a few of them sprinkled throughout. Uh, and then also if you're facing the U trips meta, that is a very, very good run that players that run Y off trips pass, AKA U trips will run this. Now to stop this, this one is a little bit tougher. Um, now the good news is, is that you know it's coming because there's no O1 one trap in the U trips. You see U trips, you're thinking wide trap. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of show you how I would uh, counteract that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my safety that I wanna use it, which is Harrison Smith to the opposite side here. Um, so here's an example where, um, no, we know it's a wide trap. Now, the way that you have to attack the wide trap is you have to attack the outside, I'm sorry, the, the running backside shoulder of the center. So normally I was telling you to kind of run straight down through the center towards the 01 trap. You kind of have to take an approach of the backside gap uh, to, to make this work. So I'll kind of stand in the same spot and then when the ball snapped, I try to run to the left and you'll see that that allows you to get in. If you try to run straight down through the, the run side A gap, they will actually seal you off. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of show that here. In this example, I'm gonna shoot straight down through the middle right and uh, they, they typically block you. So you see how they block down on you. Uh, so the only way that you can really make this work consistently is to, to run through the backside A gap against a, a wide trap or also known as a five, six trap. Uh, in this example, I'm going to spread my linebackers a little bit, try to give give myself a little bit of room. Sometimes this works, sometimes it'll cost you, but uh, you see right here, you can run straight through the backside A gap and get that tackle for loss. So the gap shoot isn't that different when you're doing this against a wide trap. You just have to be aware that you need to shoot uh, towards the running back a little bit more than the, the point of attack on this. So you see right here how you can get into the backfield pretty easily uh, when you shoot the wide trap backside on this. So. Um, that is pretty much today's video, guys. This is a really, really simple gap shoot concept. Um, here's an example. I, I think the wide trap doesn't really work with the, the middle linebacker. We'll see if it does. Try to shoot backside. Yeah, you see how they just, they block down on you pretty easily. So with the, with the wide trap, you actually can't really shoot it as well with the middle linebacker. So that's one little thing to kind of add to it. Um, you really definitely need the uh, this player down in the box. Now, again, if you're bringing a, a purple zone safety or a deep zone safety that is in the middle third down into the box, I would probably replace the linebacker into that flat zone. So that way, if it's a pass, you can kind of just cover this area of the field and have a little bit more freedom uh, to make this work. But but again, if you're facing the wide trap, shoot the backside A gap. It's really, really simple. Uh, if you're facing an 0-1 trap, you shoot the, uh, the point of attack straight through the center. Uh, they shouldn't block you either way. But yeah, guys, that's today's video. If you guys liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below as well. Make sure you subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. We upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, in the early morning or sometimes just into the afternoon. Uh, so you definitely can check us out here five times a week on the YouTube channel. If you guys like this and you want more, definitely go check out gridirongameplans.gg. This is just a small part of my comprehensive nickel 245 defensive game plan. This is complete with obviously the best dap shoots in the game 
complete with the best pass rushing cocktail. I'm talking any defense you want to run, but especially in the nickel 245, I've got a four ability cocktail on defensive linemen that will cause them to shed all game long and they won't be able to stop you with those standard protection abilities that players like to put on their tackles. I can promise you it's the best way to get to the quarterback in the entire game. And of course, I've got coverage meta for the most popular offenses that you face. Uh, one of the best all around comprehensive defensive game plans you'll find on the market. So definitely go check it out, gridirongameplans.gg. If not, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.